Hello, so I'm going to show you how to do print and cut stickers. So all this is is printable vinyl and the Cricut cuts it out for you, which is really nice. So first thing you need to do is get a whole bunch of PNGs. Um, I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, pictures on mine. You could do more than that. You could do 10, but like make them all smaller, but you should fill up a whole entire page. Don't waste you know, one of these pages, because even if we use the, just the top part and we cut it to use the bottom, it won't let us just put in the bottom of this to the printer. It needs a full page in the printer, so might as well use up the space that you have. Also, make sure that they are PNGs, because where it sees transparency in your image, it will cut. So as you can see, this was a, definitely a PNG because it cut all the way around the coffee. Um, if it had a white background, it would cut out just a square around our coffee and that would be boring. I want to actually cut out around it. Coolest thing about this is you could do real life pictures. So here's more examples. I have them on my laptop. Um, you could do real life pictures of things. These just happen to all be clip art. And this just happens to be clip art as well. I don't have an example off the top of my head, but you could print out a picture of your friend and like have your friend be a sticker. It's very cool. Um, but if you wanted to just cut out your friend's face and not the background, you would have to go in Photoshop, delete out the background, and then export as a PNG and put them in here. So anyways, off that tangent, let's find 10 PNGs and save the PNGs on our desktop. That's the first step. I already did that, so I have all of these. If you double click on it, you'll see mine turns gray to show you that there's nothing there, which is great. Um, some of these I put in fake PNGs to show you. When I double click it, look, this one has, it doesn't have gray, it actually has these gray and white squares. That's a fake PNG, not good. We're gonna get to that one. Um, I also have, double click this one. This one has white, which we can easily get rid of the white. If it's all one color white, we can just click on the white and it goes away, which I'll show you how to do that in, in a minute. So try to find PNGs. If not a PNG, find something that has just a plain white background or find pictures of your loved ones and then save them all onto your desktop. That's the first step. Second step is log into Cricut, hit new project, hit upload, upload image, drag each one of these in here. So I'm gonna drag this one in because this is an easy example. Drag, drop, it won't let you do multiple at once, which is unfortunate. Hit complex, continue, continue, print, then cut. On the left, it shows you what it's gonna cut, and on the right, it shows you what it's gonna print. So, very cool. Um, always choose print and cut for print and cut uh, sticker, of course. That's why we call it a print and cut activity in here. Okay, so that one is in my um, uploads. So it'll always be there for me for the whole entire year if I ever wanna go back and do this again. I'm gonna hit upload, I'm gonna do another one. So I'm gonna pick this one, for example. Um, I'm going to choose complex again. I'm going to click on the white background to get rid of it. Boom. Remember how I said it will get rid of it, which is awesome. This PNG, though, even if I click on it, here I'll zoom in to show you by clicking this plus sign, scrolling down. It still has, you can't really see it, there's a little line right here. Not good. So I need to scroll down on my left hand side here, choose my eraser tool, make my eraser size bigger and just erase away everything I don't want. So I don't want any of that PNG left over. I'm gonna zoom out. Um, as you can tell over here, there is some white still in my image, which I could get rid of it. However, if you're thinking about this, right, it's gonna print this out and then it's gonna cut, but look how thin that line's gonna be. I'm not sure if it's gonna fully cut all that. This will be a good experiment. Also, do I really wanna get rid of this white right here or do I wanna leave it? Cause there's a small chance if I get rid of it, it's gonna to try to cut this thin line and it's gonna get jumbled up and messed up. So I'm kind of thinking maybe I should just leave this white here. We'll see. Gonna hit continue, print and cut, upload. I'm gonna hit upload again. Gonna pick another one. Let's pick one that won't work. Haha, -ha, see, this does not have white and does not have transparency. This has white and gray background. So what we're gonna do, if you're really determined to get this picture in here, try moderately complex, and you'll see it gets rid of some of the color, so it's kind of looking a little funky here, but at least it has a one solid color background. So whenever we hit continue, we can click on the solid color background and it goes away, but look what happened. 
it got rid of the inside of the cup. Not good. So this one will not work. That's why it's important to choose um, ones that have like a solid color background. All right, let's hit upload again. Upload image. Drop this in here. Again, this has a fake background. Let's try moderately complex. Let's hit continue. Let's click on the background. Oh, this won't work. It's gonna try to cut out all of these tiny squares. Not good. So that one will not work as well. So you'll see there's a lot more options because um, you can print so many more colors very easily. However, there's just some instances where a print and cut just won't work. Okay, let's choose, I did one similar to this one already. Let's choose this one. Complex, when in doubt, always go complex. Click on the background, apply and continue. This one's perfect. It's a little cricket. How adorable is that? It's gonna cut all the way around it. So if we had a real life picture of somebody in here, I don't even know if I have one in here. I do not. Okay. Let's use this guy. I'm going to hit upload. Drag and drop him in here. Let's say I want him to be a sticker. I can choose complex. Oops, i got to move my screen over. Complex, continue. Click on the white background. White background, apply and continue. It will cut out around him because he had a solid background. If he had a background that I wanted, like let's say this is a picture back here of a classroom. Actually, I have a picture right here apparently. Report card meme. <laughs> okay, let's say I wanted this to be a sticker. Complex, continue. I can't delete the background because look what happens. It gets really weird. So I'm gonna hit undo at the top here. Undo, undo, undo. I'm just gonna hit apply and continue. And you'll see this is what it's gonna cut. Just a square and this is what it's gonna print. Um, if you're uploading pictures of your friends and stuff, that's totally fine. Obviously, make sure they're appropriate and just realize that they're all going to be squares. It's not going to cut around your person. If you want just him and no background, you got to take him into Photoshop and delete the background. All right, I'm going to hit print and cut image, hit upload. And once you get all of your images in here, you need to click on all of them. You should have like probably 10, 8 or 10. Hit add to canvas one time because it takes a while to load. They're going to come in massive. If you try to hit make it here at the top, it's going to jumble them up and it's going to show you how many pages it takes up. We only have enough for each kid to have one page. So we need to make this guy smaller, this guy bigger. Let's hit cancel. Let's try to make this guy bigger, this guy smaller. And if you want two of something, like let's say I want two crickets, I can do Command C, Command V. It's okay that they're jumbled because once you hit make it, it rejumbles them. All right, so now that they are all fitting on one page, we're gonna hit continue, send to printer, choose the printer that says um, Robert Alexandra. It's not popping up for me because for me, mine just says HP DesignJet T520 24 inch without the Robert Alexandra. Yours should say HP DesignJet T520 Robert Alexandra if you're a student. If you're a teacher, um, I need to have my laptop plugged in to the printer. And whenever my laptop is plugged in, Students can print wirelessly to this printer, the T520. Um, if your teacher laptop is not plugged in, then that means the host, quote unquote, is not plugged in and it will not let students print wirelessly. Um, before we figured out this host thing, um, students were able to come over here, manually plug in their laptop and then push print manually without the host being plugged in. Um, so. If that works for your class, then that works for you. But for what, what, ugh, what works well for me is my computer plugged in and they print using the printer that says HP DesignJet T520 with um, the, what's it called? Robert Alexandra at the end of that. So I'm going to hit print. <coughs> then I'm going to get this kind of paper. It's printable vinyl. It has two sides. Um, we need to find what side is sticky. So 
So this is the sticky side. So the sticky side is facing us. You can tell it kind of cups in here. It should cup towards the wall. I'm gonna put this down. And hit okay. It should say printing and then whatever your file name is called. Mine says untitled because I did not name it. If it ever says printing dot 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 and no file name, it's gonna print out um, like black. So if it ever says printing dot dot dot, I always hit cancel. All right, so we got our file ready to go. Let's take it over to the Cricut. Make sure the Cricut is plugged in to your laptop. We're going to make sure it's perfectly lined up here. And then we're going to tape it. So I'm going to set you down. I'm making sure the tape does not go over the black border. Border, ignore this. It's my nail polish, it won't come off. Anyways, um, so the black border is what is very important here. If you have four black lines, you're doing great. That means um, it will work and it should cut correctly. If you're missing this bottom part, then that means um, it's not going to cut correctly and you're gonna have to make your sticker smaller and reprint all over again. So I have this taped all nice and perfect. I'm making sure the tape does not go over the black line because the black line, as you will see, is very important to the cut. If you put tape over top of the black line, the flashlight um, that you're gonna see here is going to look for the black line and if the flashlight goes over top of tape, it, the light's just gonna reflect, reflect right back into the Cricut and it's going to get confused. So what do I mean by that? You're probably wondering. I'm gonna hit refresh here, make sure it says maker. I've already printed printable vinyl. If you don't see it there, um, you're gonna have to browse all materials, type in printable, hit enter, and then choose printable vinyl. Pressure, I'm gonna leave it at default. We're gonna hit go now. So you'll see the flashlight's gonna turn on and it's going to look for that those black lines. See the flashlight? So if you have tape over top of that, the light is gonna reflect right back into Cricut and it won't be able to find the black line. So if you ever take robotics, you'll know that basically it's getting ones and zeros. White reflects the light right back to the Cricut so it receives a one. Um, if the light goes over the black line, it will receive a zero. The light will get absorbed by the black. <coughs> so it's using binary code to figure out where you're at. And then now it says finalizing, meaning it's trying to figure out where everything is located. And based on that black line, it's going to start cutting where your design should be. So mine's gonna take a while. I'll come back to you whenever it says it's all done. All right, so it's all done. I'm gonna hit unload here. And the next thing we need to do is take off this background. So you're probably wondering what is this gray line that's around um, right here that's around each image that's called the bleed so that actually bleeds out the color so whenever it cuts if it's slightly off you'll still get some that color in your image and it won't just be like white there you have it that is print and cut stickers so now when you peel this up it's a sticker you'll be able to tell if you put it in the printer backwards because, and I've done this multiple times, it's printed on this side. So whenever I've peeled it up, I'm like, oh no, the sticky, it wasn't right. It was like on the wrong side. It should be sticky, but it's not. So 
That's how you figure out if you did it right or wrong. And that is print and cut. If you have any questions, let me know.